My name is Tony Lamb, and I'd like to welcome you to the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church. The church where we pray down Holy Spirit fire from up on high to put a fire in our bones and for the mighty works of Almighty God. Amen. And we will open with a prayer. Blessed and most merciful, Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you be among us, that you move among us, that you touch each and every heart that's here, touch each and every heart that's out there, Lord. And Lord, I pray, I pray thy will be done. And these are the last days. These are the last days. And we have to be, we must be faithful and true to your word, to you, Lord. And Lord, I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen, amen, amen. I title this, uh, Forgiving the Unforgivable. And we will open with the prayer request. Okay. okay. Let me see what I here. I want to please keep uh, Israel in prayer. The situation there is desperate. All kinds of evil, sad things are going on there. Also, I um, would like to keep in prayer for uh, the fires in Argentina. They're raging. Um, a camper set it free, and now it's just, it's, it's bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are requesting prayer for all our viewers in the Netherlands, Melbourne, and Queensland, Australia, Brazil, Poland, Yorkshire, and Lancashire, England. Sweden, Budapest, Hungary, South Africa, Japan, New Zealand, Belgium, and all around the world. We have Mike and Gail for our love and God's blessings. Thank you. We have Sandy in Minnesota for God's presence. Tracy in Ottawa, Canada for God's touch and guidance. Miss Robin in Texas for God's loving touch and presence. Hi, Robin. We Candace, love you. we love you, Robin. Candace for continued healing. Um, Rose Bates. Hi, Rose, for God's Hi, blessings. Rose. Steve Guti, Edna Armstrong. Lily, Connie, Sammy, hey, Sammy. Um, and Head's daughter, Samantha, for God's blessings. Rose Bergman and James Motley, for God's blessings and guidance. I have Cheryl and Carol in Idaho, for God's presence, direction and prayers for their finances and healing. Uh, Crystal and Sandra, their daughters, and the grandchildren. Ed and Hannah, and their two children. Charlotte and Emma, for God's presence and direction. Prayers for an apartment for them soon. Um, Mark Butler, for God's healing touch. Donna, for God's healing touch. Hey, Donna. Hi, Sharon and Ray, for God's guidance and healing touch. Lori her husband, their little guy, AJ, I love that little boy, uh, and their mom, Debbie, Debbie, for continued healing. Thank you, Jesus, for answered prayers. Little Maverick and family, you, for God's touch and continued healing. Natalie and family, for God's comfort, love, and direction. Gary in Ohio, for God's love and direction. Gary and Melissa and their two children, for God's presence and guidance. Susie and Jerry and Holly, David, Chris, Tim, James, and Seven and David Bird, traveling mercies, please, for them. They're driving to California from Arkansas for vacation. Corrine, Corrine Holmes for God's healing. Donna Morrow for her brother Raymond, who has stage four cancer. Is there any more? Yeah. yeah um, um, mine is going to start out a little different today um, because I got a couple of little things to say about three of them. Um, first of all, I want to emphasize uh, the prayers that Bobby asked for uh, uh, Israel. Uh, right now, they, the count is up to 1,900 that are dead, and oh, still no. um, the, um, there's 19 Americans that were killed and another 19 that they can't find, uh, plus the 100 that they captured, um, that they still have, and I think they're gonna use that as a trade-off to get their people back. Um, I don't think they killed them all. Um, 
they're using that as a a bargaining tool, a bargaining tool yeah. I guess. Um, so prayers for that. Yeah. Uh, extra prayers for New York and the New York Police Department. Uh, right now they have all 35,000, and I said 35,000, police officers on duty. There is not one police officer that's off, and that's excluding the detectives and lieutenants and sergeants and captains and you name, that's over and above the 35,000. Um, and they can use really another 35,000 with the riots wow. that are going on. Um, so be with the police officers and the people in New York City. Um, also in California, they're having riots now. Chicago, and now they are starting in Miami, Florida with riots. So it's, it's all over right now. Uh, the people are just going crazy. And this is what this world is doing. Yes. And we just can't wait for God, for Jesus to come and take amen. us home. Amen. Oh, amen. Uh, then we have, this is a little short story, but I called up Progressive Insurance, my insurance company, and I got this young lady on the phone. Well, she wasn't so young. She's in her 50s, but that's young. Her name mm -hmm. is Angie, and I told her I would pray for her and her family. Um, instead of talking about the problem that I had, were progressive, we were on the phone for 40 minutes talking about God, oh, okay. um, which is really unusual, but I told her I'd call her name out and her family. Um, I just got off the phone today with Mary Shore in South Carolina, who is now 99 years old, <laughs> and um, the only thing that's wrong with her is her eyes, so a little bad. Wow. Other than that, her health is in good condition. God bless um, you. She still runs her bed and breakfast. And I know her since 1993, oh, and because um, that's when I lived in South Carolina, and uh, she is one amazing, amazing person. Um, yeah. And prayers be with her. Um, then I got my regular prayer list, which is Tony and Bobby Lamb and family. Thank you. Um, extra prayers for Roger. He's going through some stuff with his prostate right now and it's um, mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. um, Dawn, his wife and Andrew's son, uh, David and Liz and Desmond, prayers for David and Liz that they accept Jesus as Lord and Savior yes. because they have not yet. And little Desmond, we know where he's going when yes. God comes and takes us. He's coming home and I just feel for David and Liz. And we got Earl and Karen Brown in Brooksville, Florida. Yolanda and Josh Morale that now live in South Carolina and they love it. Uh, Phil and family from Spring Hill, Florida. Jill and Jay Yates from Brooksville. Tracy and Steve Ferris from um, Orlando, Florida. We got Maverick, Brittany, Shane, and the rest of the other two girls, I believe she has. I don't know their names, but Maverick is doing about 60% better, right. uh, and uh, they just got a new home in South Carolina. Then we got Ronnie and Elizabeth Blauvel, extra press for Elizabeth. She's going through a lot, uh, and so is Ronnie, because he has to deal with this whole thing, Lord. Um, so um, we got Heidi and Alex Dilsandro. Heidi's been going through vertigo for almost two and a half years now. Then we got Mimi and Tino from um, Spring Hill. We got Linda O'Brien and family and her one-year-old uh, granddaughter. Extra prayers for her granddaughter. We got Sarah and Thomas and children and their nieces and nephews. We got Gail's ten children. We got Jack and Kathy Casey. We got Michelle, my daughter and son-in-law Matt. His grandchildren is Aiden and Liam. Um, we got Dave Rossi, who used to live in Spring Hill, but now is in um, Texas. Wyoming. Oh, Wyoming. And uh, his daughter's name is Kiera and Elena um, Rossi and family. And then we got Sarah from Walmart. 
We got Jeff that we met from Walmart. We got Pastor Gil and Barbara from uh, Cape Coral, Florida, and family. Uh, we got Vinny and Donna Donaldson from Highland Falls. Extra press for Donna and also for, for Vinny. Our neighbor Pat, who's gone through a lot in the last couple of weeks, and her family. And thank you, Pat, for the desserts. Um, neighbor uh, Marcos and his family and his two little girls. And James from Walgreens. Um, from open heart surgery that he had. The Irwin family, the loss of little um, Gracie nice. at nine years old. Then we got Robin from, from Texas. And uh, I just need prayer for myself. Um, I've been going through a lot lately with my, my left hand going numb. Um, my feet getting worse that I don't feel, uh, my back getting worse, I have absolutely no cartilage between my discs anymore, oh, man. and uh, I know we're all getting attacked, but I was attacked last night by Satan, and I know it was him, got me up out of bed for over an hour and a half, that I felt like there was electricity going through my back, and he was just shooting me in the back. And I jumped up out of bed screaming. And uh, but we're all getting attacked. Uh, he knows his, his last days, and uh, he's going to try to attack any anybody that believes in our heavenly Father. And now our house is officially called Azusa Street Church, and there's a sign outside of this house. Hallelujah! I'm glad to say that this Thank is God's Jesus. home. Yes. And I think that's one reason that why we're getting attacked so much. And I keep on saying, one day, during Azusa Street, that Tony and Bobby and Gail and I, God is going to take us home from here Amen. in a blink of an eye. Amen. I thank Praise you for listening to me. God bless you all. Praise Amen. Amen. We will take these named, and, and we also pray for the unnamed, and we invite you to pray along with us. So Yes, please. Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, we cry out, we cry out humbly, Lord, these names, both named and unnamed, because the unnamed are just as important as the named, Lord. And Lord, we call out these names. We call them out before you, Lord. We pray, we beg, we plead, Lord, for healing, for a touch from God. We pray the blood of Jesus come down and cover them and touch them, Lord, and touch them and heal them, Lord. Give them peace, Lord. Give them peace, Lord. Oh, Lord, these are the last days. These are the last days. And in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And we beg, we plead, Lord, that, that the pouring out of your spirit happen now, because these are the last days, Lord. These are the last days. Signs are everywhere. Israel is at war with terrorism. And, Lord, we just, we pray for Israel, and we pray for these that we call up before you, Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, for our God is the one and only true living God, true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses. My God, our God is God, and there is no other, the God of Israel. Awesome, awesome, awesome in power, spoke the whole universe and everything in it into existence with words, with words, because words have power, have might, have authority, have life and death. And we fear our God. We love our God. For our God is all things to us, is everything. Our God is the Alpha and the Omega, from everlasting to everlasting, without beginning and without end. And Lord, we cry out these names before you, Lord, both named and unnamed, Lord. And we plead, we beg, we pray, Lord, that you heal them, that you touch them. Comfort we pray, them. we beg, Please. Please and, and guide them, Lord. We pray, we pray the blood of Jesus over these named and unnamed, Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus over these. And we pray, we beg, Lord, that you heal them, that you comfort them, that you give them peace, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus' mighty, Amen. mighty name. Amen. 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 Before we start, Tony, I left one name out, and I should have really done it. And i got to write these names down. Matthew, who used to come to Azusa Street at um, oh, the Holiday Inn, 
uh, actually was looking for us and we found him in the dentist office and um, um, he's going to join us now at uh, the Zuzu Street at our house, which is God's house. Um, thank you, Matthew. Um, welcome, Matthew. We welcome you back, Matthew, yes, when you come Matthew. back uh, from your two, two weeks of uh, work, wherever you're going. God bless you, Matt. Yep, God bless you. I title this Forgiving the Unforgivable with all the atrocities that have been happening, that have happened in Israel. I, I don't really need to go over in, in any kind of depth or detail, but I mean, beheadings, burning people alive in buildings, shooting pregnant women in the belly, Killing I mean, you know, the, the slaughter of, of innocent civilians, innocent babies, I mean, it's, there's no reason, there's no purpose uh, yeah. other than just pure evil. And it's just Satan himself loosed in the world. And the Holy Spirit gave me this actually just a few minutes ago. And what he gave me, and I wrote it down. And it goes like this. Ours is to endure the unendurable and forgive the unforgivable. To attain the reward that is ours. Uh, I know many people in their lives have been treated very badly, very badly. They've been stolen from, raped, abused, mistreated, beaten, and so much more. But as Christians, as Christians, we are commanded to forgive our enemies and to pray for them, even if they do unforgivable acts against us. Carrying this kind of hate, it eats at you and it will destroy you. For some people, forgiveness is the hardest thing to do. But we are commanded to forgive and to pray for our enemies as well as our friends and family. I know personally I had a, a brother-in-law that stole a business out from under me. And <clears throat> that business was worth, was worth millions of dollars. He stole it out from under me. And eventually caused a division in my family and I lost my sons, and my my youngest son, I haven't had contact with him in years. And my oldest son, he was old enough that he saw what was going on. So him and I, we, we get along and, and we're- and He's we're, in Arkansas, you know, he's, the whole family. He, he lives in Arkansas. Amen. But I have been affected, and I, and I carried I carried much hate for a long time. And, and when I come to Jesus, I just knew it was put in my heart that I, I had to release all this go. hate because it, it was eating me up inside. It was yes. so I, I just forgave. I forgave everybody. I, you know, no and, and I, no. I found peace that, that was unattainable before. Yeah. So uh, that's what this lesson is about. Gail, will you read Matthew 5, verses 43 and 44? Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, <coughs> excuse me, and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Bobby, will you read Matthew 6, verse 14 and 15? For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. We must keep in mind that our God is also our enemy's God. And that's why we are commanded to forgive. We are commanded to love. And we are commanded to, to pray even for our enemies. I will read Matthew 22, verses 37, 38, 39. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Gail, will you read Luke 6, uh, 27 through 29? But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them that hate, which hate you. Bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despisefully use you. 
and unto him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Bobby, will you read Luke 23, verse 34? Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And that was when Jesus was hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. He forgave them all. He forgave us. Uh, I will read Romans 12, verses 14 to 21. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condensed to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in, doing, for, for in so doing, thou shalt keep coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Gail, will you read Ephesians 4, verse 32? And be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. And also Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Amen. Remember that it's it's not the flesh that we war with, and it's not the people that we are at war with, yes. and it's not the people that we should hate, but it is the demons that control the flesh, making them do unspeakable things. And if you remember, I started a couple years ago saying that the closer we get to the last day, into the last days, more and more evil would, would come upon this earth, and men would do unspeakable things. Well, it's here. Uh, Bobby, we read Revelations 22, verse 5 to 10. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things, they are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the saints of this book. Worship God. Amen. And he, amen. And he said unto me, Seal not the saints of the prophecy of this book, for time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Amen. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. I give every man according to his work shall be, as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the, the Omega. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. 
For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. And the spirit of the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testify these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Amen. Amen. And Gail, will you read 2 Corinthians 12, 7 to 10? At least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God, give us strength to endure the unendurable. God, give us grace to endure the unendurable. God, be with us when we are weak in the flesh. God, give us strength and love to love and forgive the unforgivable. God, be with us to the very end. So one day, we will be with Jesus in paradise, where we will live forevermore. And nothing we endured here, or that we leave behind here, will, it will not even be a memory in that place. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, uh, love is the greatest gift. And if it were not for the love of God, where would we be? It was the love of God for his creation that God sent his only begotten son into the world who shed his blood, who shed his precious blood for me and for you and who died for us on an old wooden cross. No greater love hath any man for his friends that he lay down his life for them. That is the love that God has for us, his creation. Mm -hmm. And we need to we need to forgive our enemies. We need to forgive our enemies because we will be held accountable. And I know that we all have different trials and tribulations that we must endure every single day. And for some, these trials, they are life and death. But if you have Jesus in your heart, you have everything that you need. So our prayers, our prayers go with you. And we pray for all of you. We pray for all of you. So These are the last days. And the signs are everywhere. And Israel is God's prophetic clock to the last days. And, and that, that alarm clock is now ringing loud and clear. Yeah. And everybody should be hearing that clock. But so few actually hear it. Even in the churches, even in the churches, a lot of churches, they, they just don't. I want to remind everybody that the Azusa Street Mission and Revival website is at www.azusast.com. And you are most welcome to join us uh, on the website. And uh, we are now offering free advanced medical directive badges. And uh, this is a free offer. So... Uh, 
if you ever find yourself in a, a clinic, a hospital, doctor's office, and you cannot speak for yourself, at least one of these badges will speak for you. Uh, and we also offer free uh, rear uh, car window decals that say azusastreet.com Mission Revival. And you can find pictures of this uh, at the end of this website or, or, uh, or at, the, at the website or on the, uh, at the end of this video. And also the Azusa Street Prayer Line is open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time until 9 p.m. or the last caller. And that number is 518-318-7813. And uh, only, only if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit and that you be the miracle in God's ministry. God bless you. And uh, remember, uh, small beginnings turn into very big things through God. Look what came out of, a, out of a manger out of Bethlehem. Every one of you have been a blessing, an absolute blessing to us, and we love you all we so love very you much. All so much. We, we really do. And we keep you in our prayers. Yes. And I know that I've been having some issues with my knees here lately, and and uh, but I kind of I kind of overdid it, uh, two or three days, and I just kind of really paid for it. But uh, with with all of your prayers, I I am doing yeah. I am doing better. So yeah. thank you thank you for your prayers. I, I really appreciate it, and uh, and we love you also very much. So with much love and more grace from above, amen.